You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Kelly Swoop and these are your WMAR 2 News top stories. It took them decades, but Henrietta Lacks' family is getting paid for her contributions to modern medicine. More than 70 years ago, doctors at Johns Hopkins took her cervical cancer cells without her knowing. Today, they reached a settlement with Thermo Fisher Scientific Incorporated, a biotechnology company that has made billions of dollars off of those cells. Lax's cells were the first human cells to be successfully cloned. The lawyer for her family says the terms of the settlement are confidential. Well, for the second time in a month, thieves on the cutting edge have used high-powered hydraulic tools to steal from an ATM. This time it happened at a 7-Eleven in Crofton in Anne Arundel County, and just three weeks ago, crooks did the same thing to another ATM. That theft happened just two and a half miles away from the most recent one. Well, before long, the school bells will be ringing. On August 16th, we're holding our first ever Stock the School event right here at our station at 6400 York Road. For more details, head to WMER2news.com slash Stock the School to help our teachers. Dry skies for one more day into Wednesday. Take advantage. Sunshine gets through. Wildfire smoke gradually diminishes. But then we start to turn the corner Thursday, Friday. Some storm chances work their way in. We're talking rumble, thunder, flash of lightning, brief heavy downpour. Severe potential is very low. That's the great news. Highs in the mid 80s, getting warmer. Upper 80s Saturday, Sunday. Drying out by then. 90 on Monday. Storms back there and 91 on Tuesday. So we do get hotter. Kelly? All right, stick with us online at WMER2news.com. We'll bring you updates on top stories and breaking news. And for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMER2news app in the App Store. Thanks for watching. I'm Kelly Swoop.